Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji. In the last video, we created this standard title block. In this video, I'm going to add the revision table here. So I'll go to view. I'm going to go with revision schedule and I'm going to include the number, or maybe not sequence, but number, date and description. Date can be moved up and this looks good. I'll hit OK. I want uh, this revision number to, to be mark instead of number, so I'll go with mark. Uh, instead of the date, I'll just go with, uh, with the word date in caps, and I want to go with description in caps here. Uh, then if I click here and uh, views and click on this schedule i see the schedule uh, i'll go to appearance and see that i have everything here i can work with the fields and everything under appearance maybe i'll remove blank row before data and maybe i'll remove show title so it doesn't show me revision schedule name and i want the title the title text doesn't matter because it's going to be invisible header text i want it to be 1 16th and the values in the body of the of the table is going to be 1 16th. Uh, so I'll hit OK. It's going to look like this. If I go back to the sheet, this is the revision schedule. I can drop it here. Uh, one other important setting is if I go here under appearance, I want it to be bottom up. So it's going to add lines above, not to the bottom, but to the top of the schedule. I'll hit OK. I'll go to here. And I need to move this to this location and I can use these arrows to fix it in this area that we have. I can hit TL so it shows me in thin lines so I can adjust the lines better here. Okay, now because we set it to bottom up, when the revision is added, it's going to go up from here. Another thing in this video I want to talk about is how to add a key plan. So I'm going to close this revision table. I want to have the key plan as a symbol, which is a generic annotation family. The room I have considered here is about 2 inches by about 1.25. So I'll go to my home menu. I'm going to go with a new family. Uh, I could go Imperial, Annotations, and I'll go with Generic Annotation Family. Uh, I'm going to create a set of lines, which is going to be invisible lines, a rectangle maybe. Maybe I can change my units, type UN under length, to inches, two places with the inches symbol. So I want to go with two inches here. And for the height to be 1.25 to fit over there. And then I'm going to move this to the center in here and move it to the center in here. I can get rid of this text. And these are in invisible line. That's good. I want to import an image. So I'll go. I don't have a CAD from the site plan. I just have an image. So I'll have to go with that image. I'm going to put it here, move it to this corner maybe, and then I'm going to scale it using graphical from here. I'm going to make it smaller to fit in here. Uh, feel free to move this so it's going to be centered in this area. Then I want to go with my uh, manage object styles. And I want to create maybe a new set of line. I'm going to name this a uh, set of gray lines. I can have the caps of, so gray lines. Uh, so I want to go with like a gray color in here, maybe dark gray. I'll hit OK and OK. I'm going to draw the property lines using that gray set of lines, uh, which is going to be from here. So this is going to be... Uh, rough values. We don't have vectorized PDF file. I'm going to go with TL. Uh, maybe I can make this line a little bit thicker. So I'll go with Manage Object Style 
and this gray line maybe I'll go with two I'll hit OK uh, so that's the line I'll go with create line I'm gonna create lines for all the property lines that we have on this map so it's gonna go here here uh, I need to extend this line down a little bit so I'm drawing the property lines of all the units and then I'll show the area of the work go to here over here and this will be connected over there and I need some lines some vertical lines over here I'm not going to go into much details maybe I'll just keep the property lines just so we know which of the houses we are going to work with and over here uh, then I want to add a field region I'll go with create field region I want to go with edges to be invisible lines and I'm going to draw a box around here this is where the project is going to be I'm going to finish this if I hit TL and I can get rid of that image so I can delete the image and uh, I would like to go to manage page on use check known under raster images I'm going to get rid of this image here feel free to save this family under options one backup is enough I'm going to select all this if I uh, draw a window here and move that all a little bit to the right um, and a bit down that's good uh, then I want to add a note so I'll go with create text uh, maybe this would be too large but let's see I want to say this is area of work uh, maybe it's good I'll just go to edit type and I make sure that the background is set here to transparent so I'll go with transparent I can move this up and to the left here and I can add an arrow I'll go with create I'll go with create line maybe just a generic annotation line and I'm going to draw an arrow here let's mirror this one copy is on that's good now I went let's say in this one we are going to work on this unit maybe uh, in future we're going to work on other units so I want to also define some visibility parameter I'm going to select this arrow the text hold control and the field region to the visibility I'm going to associate it with a family parameter new parameter and I'm going to call this area of work so it can be turned on or off it could be instance so it's going to change per sheet that's good hit ok and hit ok if I hit TL this is actually a bit thicker uh, I can move this a bit to the right to the left okay now this is good save the family load it into the project I'm gonna set it here and then I'm gonna move it from this uh, corner to here and I can use uh, TL so thick lines up so I can adjust this a little bit better in here and now the way it works if I click on it let's say if I remove area of work it can be turned on or off uh, so now we have both the revision table and a key plan in this project uh, that's it for this video thank you so much uh, if you have any questions for the title block you can watch the previous video uh, please like and subscribe for more videos